Hi, thanks for joining in. So today I'm gonna to be answering for you one of the most common questions I get asked on social media, and that's what products do I use for my acne prone skin? As a dermatologist, I treat acne all the time. I think about acne all the time, read about it all the time, talk about it all the time, answer DMs about acne all the time. So there's really a lot to unpack here in terms of what's going on in your skin when you get acne and what products should you be using to clear it up. Acne exists on a spectrum, right? From mild to moderate and even severe forms of acne. Now, some forms of mild acne and even moderate acne can be treated and cleared up totally with over-the-counter products alone. Other types of moderate acne and severe acne is really gonna require a dermatologist's expertise as well as prescription medications to clear up. But the one thing that any type of acne has in common is that you need to be on a dedicated and well thought out skincare routine because this will give you the best chance for a cure and the best chance to remain clear from your acne. Okay, great. So you know you need to have a skincare routine. So you go to the drugstore, grocery store, Target, Walmart, Ulta Sephora, wherever you buy your skincare products, online, whatever. You will be standing there looking at a ton of options marketed for acne skin, and it's gonna be so overwhelming. I mean, I even get overwhelmed when I go shopping for skincare products, and I'm the expert, so I know how overwhelming it can be for the average consumer. So in this video, I'm gonna simplify this for you. Make it less stressful, so when you go to get your skincare products, you will know exactly what to look for to help clear up your acne. And that's what this is all about, right? Being a confident consumer, because if you are confident in what you're buying, you will be compliant with using these products and you will be more consistent and that will give you a better chance for cure, okay? Confident consumer increases compliance, increases consistency and increases your chance for cure. So first let's start with some basics. What's going on on your skin when you get acne bumps? If you can answer this question, you will know how to pick out products that will reverse these changes and clear up your acne. So acne is inflammation of the skin generally due to four main causes. So first you're going to have an abnormal turnover and shedding of skin cells. So this buildup of skin cells on the surface of the skin is what causes your pores to become clogged. There's an increased bacteria on your skin that drives inflammation. You have oil glands that are in overdrive producing more oil and sebum that are clogging your pores. And there's even a hormonal component in some forms of acne. Now, Hormonal acne generally requires prescription strength medicine to clear up, but even so, you need to be on a dedicated skincare routine in addition to these medications to really get the best results. So all of these things together are causing your pores to become clogged and inflamed and resulting in acne bumps of several varieties like comedones, which are whiteheads and blackheads, pustules, red bumps, and even deep painful acne cysts. So what do you do about these pesky acne bumps? You pick out products that highlight ingredients that will unclog your pores, reduce inflammation, and kill the bad bacteria on your skin. Here are the four main ingredients that will do this, okay? These are the four powerhouse ingredients that are gonna clear your acne and help you remain clear, okay? This is the take home message of this video. So get out your pen and paper, write it down, take a note in your phone. We're about to figure some stuff out, okay? First is benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is a fabulous ingredient to treat acne. It's anti-inflammatory, so it gets rid of red bumps. It's antibacterial, meaning it kills the bad bacteria on your skin that are causing acne. And it's comedolytic, which means it erases the whiteheads and blackheads. Now the best, best, best thing about benzoyl peroxide is that it does not cause bacterial resistance, okay? This is important, does not cause bacterial resistance. Now many topical and oral antibiotics are a mainstay treatment for acne. Many people will be on these medications. They're great in helping clear up acne and kill the bacteria, the problem is they have a high risk of causing bacterial resistance on your skin, which means over time the bacteria changes so that they're less susceptible to being killed by these medicines and they stop working as well and you stop getting good results from these medications to clear up your acne. So benzoyl peroxide does not have this risk. If you are on a topical or oral antibiotic for acne, I often have my patients use benzoyl peroxide as well because that's gonna decrease your risk of developing this bacterial resistance and your medications will work better. The other awesome thing about benzoyl peroxide is it's fast acting. You don't have to wait forever to see results from this. So really in as little as five days, patients can start to see improvement in their skin. 
Now the caution I share with my patients about benzoyl peroxide is that it can actually bleach towels and sheets and other fabrics. So you wanna be careful about that. I often recommend to my patients these anti-benzoyl peroxide towels that are resistant to these changes. Those are a great option if you are the type of person who's gonna use benzoyl peroxide long-term in your skincare routine. Okay, so I've convinced you that benzoyl peroxide needs to be in your skincare routine. So here's what you're gonna see when you go to the store to buy it. You will see wash off forms like face cleansers and body washes, as well as leave on forms like creams and gels. You will see different strengths of it from two and a half percent all the way up to 10%. So you'll see that there's a lot of options for how to incorporate this into your routine, which is a good thing, but where do you start? My advice to you, if you've never used benzoyl peroxide before or have particularly irritated or sensitive skin, start with a low percent strength, two and a half percent, okay? Skincare is a marathon, it's not a sprint. We want to get our skin used to it before we go all out. The last thing we want is to create a lot of irritation on our skin. Then we won't be able to tolerate any of these products or the products we use after it, and we're not going to get good results, okay? So start low, two and a half percent. Go for a wash off form. So maybe a face cleanser or a body wash because the less contact time it has with your skin, the potentially less irritating it can be, the less side effects you get. Leave-on forms will be on the skin longer, obviously they absorb in, but can potentially be more irritating, okay? So here are a few of my tried and true, budget-friendly benzoyl peroxide picks. First is Pinoxyl brand benzoyl peroxide wash. This is a body wash. So this would be great if you have acne on your chest, uh, shoulders and back, apply it in the shower. I usually tell my patients, let it sit on your skin for a few minutes and then rinse, it will be more effective that way. So this one is a 4% body wash, but it also comes in a higher strength 10% body wash. So the next product I love to recommend is by Differin. This is a benzoyl peroxide face wash. It's 5% benzoyl peroxide. It's actually gentle still, so it's good for sensitive skin types. It's moisturizing and even oil absorbing, so good to use if you have oily skin. The last product I'm gonna recommend is this one by Paula's Choice. This is a leave-on form of benzoyl peroxide. So you'll cleanse your skin and then apply this and just let it absorb in. This particular one is 2.5%. It also comes in a 5% form. It's fragrance free. It's well tolerated. I really love to recommend this product. Now, everything I recommend today, I'm going to link it below in the comments so you know exactly what I'm talking about if you want to buy these for yourself. Okay, so I hope you guys are still following along, taking notes, because we're going to keep going with the second acne fighting ingredient that I love, which is salicylic acid. Now, salicylic acid is a chemical exfoliant. This is the only type of exfoliant I recommend for acne. I do not like physical exfoliants like acne scrubs and beads and other types of washes because they really disrupt the skin barrier but chemical exfoliants can be extremely helpful. Salicylic acid in particular is anti-inflammatory and comedolytic, and like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid can work in just a few days. It's good as a spot treatment to clear up active acne bumps, but it also can prevent new acne bumps from forming. So it's really a great product. It's true that other types of chemical acids like glycolic acid and azelaic acid can work well for acne, but salicylic acid is the absolute best for acne, and here's why. It is oil soluble. The other types of acids are water soluble. So that means that salicylic acid will absorb into the oil glands, which are an overdrive in acne, and it's here that it will break up that debris and unclog the pores. Also, another great thing about salicylic acid is that it is much more tolerated than some of the other forms of acids, and that's because it sits on the outermost layer of the skin, so it doesn't burn and stick when you apply it like glycolic acid is known to do. So it's really well tolerated by even sensitive skin types. Okay, so when you go to the store to shop for salicylic acid products, here's what you will find. Like benzoyl peroxide, there will be leave-on forms and wash-off forms, okay? This particular ingredient comes in strengths from 0.5% up to 2%. So the tricky thing about salicylic acid products is you actually can't compare them apples to apples. So that means if you see a 2% salicylic acid of one brand, that doesn't necessarily mean it's stronger than a 1% salicylic acid from another brand. And without getting too technical about it or too much into the chemistry of it, it's basically because there are other added ingredients in the formulation that are put there so that the product is more tolerable. So it changes the properties, whether it affects the pKa, the pH of the product, whatever, it's going to affect how strong that acid is. So it means that you can't just compare that single ingredient between two brands. 
just a disclaimer. Okay, so here's the first salicylic acid product I love to recommend. This is by CeraVe. This is a salicylic acid cleanser. I love this cleanser because it is gentle and it's well tolerated by a lot of different skin types. It has salicylic acid again, which means it is a chemical exfoliant. There are no harsh mechanical exfoliants in this, which makes it a gentle product. It's non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna form acne bumps. It's not drying or irritating. It has ceramides in it, which means it's moisturizing. It's fragrance-free. I love fragrance-free products. So this is really a great one to have in your routine. The other product I'll recommend is a leave-on form of salicylic acid. This one's by Paula's Choice. This has 2% sal acid in it. Basically what you'll do is cleanse your skin, then apply this and just let it absorb in. It's lightweight, so it's really easy to apply other products or layer other products on top of it. It's fragrance-free, it's not irritating. You can use it once or twice a day, depending on how uh, you want to incorporate it into your routine, but it's a gentle product, but it's effective, so I love to recommend this one. Okay, so the third and my personal holy grail ingredient for treating acne is retinoids. Now, retinoid is a broad term for a topical vitamin A that can be applied to the skin. So you can get these in prescription strength as well as over-the-counter forms. Here, I will focus on the over-the-counter forms, which go by the names retinol or adapalene. Now, retinol works by normalizing follicular keratinization and unclogs pores. It's anti-inflammatory and it can help other acne ingredients like topical antibiotics and benzoyl peroxide work better because it helps them penetrate deep. Deeper. Now it's important to note that not all retinoids play nice in the sandbox with other ingredients, okay? So that means you want to put retinoid in your routine very strategically. For example, some retinoids can interact and be broken down by benzoyl peroxide. So you'll wanna use the benzoyl peroxide in the morning, the retinoid at night, but never together. Also, some retinoids can be broken down by the sunlight, so you want to apply this at nighttime only. So here is my most recommended over-the-counter retinoid for the treatment of acne, and it's by Differin. This is Adapalene 0.1%. Now this actually used to be available by prescription only, but as of a few years ago, you can buy this over-the-counter. You can see it's a small tube, but a little bit really goes a long way. You just need a pea-sized amount for the entire face. So you'll apply this once a day at night, and I usually tell my patients to start with this just once or twice a week, get your skin used to it, and then slowly and increase with the goal of using it every night because that's how it will be more effective. The fourth over-the-counter acne fighting ingredient that I love is a little bit lesser known, more of a secret weapon for acne, and it's sulfur. Yes, sulfur, okay? Sulfur, like benzoyl peroxide, is antibacterial, so it kills the bacteria on our skin that cause acne. And like salicylic acid, it helps peel away the dead skin cells from the surface of the skin, so it unclogs our pores. And it also decreases oil production on the skin. So it's really a great and very powerful product to treat acne. So you will find sulfur in strengths up to 10%. It's available in wash off forms like soaps and as well as face masks and other leave-on products, okay? I love to incorporate sulfur into the skincare routine by using it just a few times a week as a wash or even as a face mask to really get out of a rut, especially if you have stubborn acne. So here are the sulfur products I love to recommend. The first is a sulfur soap. This is 10% sulfur. It's just a few bucks. It's really easy to incorporate this into your routine. Just use it a few nights a week on the face to cleanse and you can notice that it will really pull your acne out of a rut. The other option would be incorporating sulfur in a mask. So similarly, you just apply this to the skin a few times a week, let it sit on your skin for a few minutes, then rinse, and you might start to notice that it really helps clear up your acne and even help your other acne medications work better. So now you know what products to look for to put on your acne prone skin, but are you using any skincare products that are making your acne worse or even triggering a flare up? Check your products for these ingredients. First is coconut oil. This is a little bit of a controversial ingredient, but for the most part, it can cause acne, so it's worthwhile to leave this out of your skincare routine altogether. The other thing is you want to make sure your products are not breaking down your skin barrier. There are several big offender ingredients that can do this. 
First is physical exfoliants. I do not recommend these for acne. I'm all for chemical exfoliants for acne, but not physical exfoliants because these can be too harsh on your skin barrier. Strip it away, break it down, and that's gonna cause you to have irritated skin and you will not be able to tolerate acne products that you then put on your skin. Okay, denatured alcohol is another one that's very drying to the skin and can break down that skin barrier. So it's good to make sure that that is not an ingredient in your product. And it's a sneaky one. It's in a lot of toners and other uh, facial products. So check to make sure that's not there. And cleansers or other soaps that have harsh chemicals, particularly sodium lauryl sulfate, which can dissolve and break down the skin barrier, again, making your skin too irritated. Also check your makeup. Certain makeups can have red dyes that cause a form of acne called acne cosmetica. And check your shampoos and leave-on products because some of these can cause acne breakouts, especially along the hairline, due to several acne-forming ingredients in them that are long words, hard to say. I'll include those in the comments below so you can check those out, look for your labels to see if they're on there, and make sure you pick products that don't have those in them. So now you have some great products to use for acne prone skin, but you might be asking how you put all these together to form a complete skincare routine for the morning and night. In my next video, I'm gonna do that for you. I'll take the guesswork out. I'm gonna build complete skincare routines for several different skin types like oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, so you can get an idea of how these fit together and get a great place to start for your own skincare routine. All right, guys, so that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. This was your reminder that you don't have to spend a fortune to get beautiful and healthy skin. So hit subscribe and let's keep the conversation rolling.